Our cold front continues to march across the area, still bringing some heavy rain and gusty winds, and behind it, some much cooler temperatures. Your forecast across the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi everyone, Rusty back here from Media Mundo on this Wednesday, February the 21st. It is hump day. We'll get through midweek together. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll track our front that's moving through the Caribbean and we're still bringing some heavy rain and gusty winds and then some cooler weather for many of our western zones as we get started. If you got a question about the forecast as I move along through this video, feel free to drop in the comments section below. I'm happy to answer the question. And do me a big favor, click that like button right now. It really helps us out, gets more eyes on these videos, and I appreciate it. So let's talk about what's been happening on this Wednesday. Our front continues to move into places like Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, bringing some rain there and at least some gustier conditions. Then behind it, you can see that curly queue there just north of the Bahamas, pulling in some much cooler weather. Now, temperatures have warmed up pretty nicely on this Wednesday afternoon. A lot of mid and upper 70s outside uh, for even our western zones, and then certainly some 80s out towards the east. But places like Freeport and Nassau, they only got to the lower 70s for daytime highs for today with a fairly brisk north wind, low humidity. A beautiful winter day, but certainly on the chillier side, especially this morning. And even temperatures in the northwest Caribbean, places like Georgetown there in the Cayman Islands, just mid-70s for highs, upper 70s to the lower 80s through portions of Jamaica, including my friends in Montego Bay and Kingston. Those are our daytime highs, but look where we started off this morning. These were your morning lows on Wednesday in some areas. Cancun got down to 57 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 14 degrees Celsius. Belize City dropped to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees Celsius. Freeport, Nassau, and the Bahamas, 64, both areas, 18 degrees Celsius. Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic got down to 70. And then Montego Bay in the northwest side of Jamaica got down to 73 or 23 degrees Celsius. So certainly some cooler air dove into those areas behind our front, obviously out ahead of the front. Temperatures are still mainly well into the 80s, even some upper 80s and a couple of spots knocking, knocking on the door of 90 degrees. So let's take a look at uh, the winds as well because the gusts haven't been as prominent today, but we still have a few areas where we're getting some wind gusts 20 to 25. Again, the north winds in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and the Yucatan and Central America. And then you can still see some winds picking up near the front. And that's where we're gonna start off. We're gonna look at where the rain is right now and then where it's going. So it's been a relatively wet day across Hispaniola. Relatively thick clouds there, even on the Haiti side, Lakai and Port-au-Prince, but certainly the central the eastern sides of the island, Puerto Plata there and the northern side of the island, Santiago, de los Caballeros, Samana, Santo Domingo, Punta Cana, thick clouds, scattered showers, some gusty winds, Santo Domingo there up to a 25 mile an hour wind. Now these showers will continue to move off towards the east. Still a good chance for rain across Hispaniola late on this Wednesday into Wednesday night and Thursday. And showers have been pretty prominent through portions of Puerto Rico as well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put on the San Juan radar site and we'll take a look at that. And you can see the scattered showers that are out there right now. Now I'm going to slip back over to the Dominican Republic and just show you again live that some of these showers will continue to track through the area with this thick cloud coverage. So for Santa Domingo on the five day forecast, widespread showers continue on this Wednesday. Good, you know, heavy downpours from time to time, but also some scattered light showers as well. 70% chance to remain over Wednesday, the high of 82. We'll wrap up the rain in Santa Domingo early tomorrow, just a 20% chance for a morning shower, 85. Then the then Friday and into the weekend really looks absolutely phenomenal. A little bit cooler behind our front, right? Sunshine, lower humidity, 86 Friday, 87 Saturday, back up to 89 degrees on Sunday. Now the rain is gonna be sticking around in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as we go overnight and into our Thursday. Again, this is the live look at the radar from San Juan. First of all, not only is there some rain, but there's some heavy rain and even a few thunderstorms right now in the north central side of the island, tracking north and east. So developing on the southern side of the island and then working its way to the north and to the 
the east there, so just west of San Juan. Again, heavy rain and even a few thunderstorms that will linger into Wednesday evening. Scattered rain right now through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We've had some passing showers near Christiansted and St. Croix. Nothing very heavy, but certainly some extra clouds and some scattered showers there. Same thing for St. Thomas and St. John. Places like Charlotte Emily and the Cruise Bay area, the western side of St. John, some smattering of rain. And we'll have a few showers trying to trickle over towards Tortola and uh, road town areas there in the British Virgin Islands. So as we kind of move through the day, all of this rain will shift off to the east and eventually late tomorrow and on Friday, it'll be the northern side of the Lesser Antilles with the best chance for showers. Now the forecast in San Juan looks like this. It's a 60% chance for showers and storms the remainder of our Wednesday, a 70% chance for our Thursday. So it is gonna be relatively wet and there could be a couple of spots with a few inches of rain. Now again, just like Santo Domingo, will dry out later in the week and into the weekend. Not completely dry though. 20% chance for showers on Friday and cooler. Look at the rain cooled high in San Juan tomorrow of just 79 and then the lower 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Friends, just want to let everyone know again that we are doing memberships here at Media Mundo now. If you would like to support the channel, click that join button, 99 cents a month. You get access to member exclusive videos, custom badges and emojis. Just a great way to support us here at Media Mundo if you choose to do so. So look for that join button and consider joining today. And again, if nothing else, subscribe, right? Click the notification bell and you'll get the latest forecast for us here from Media Mundo. So let's talk about the progression of this rain now. So I'm going to switch over to our models and we're going to take a look at that. So this is going to be our model here over the next five days. I'm going to swing this into motion. As I have mentioned for Santa Domingo and Punta Cana and Santiago de los Caballeros, scattered showers are in the forecast the remainder of today through early tomorrow and then beginning to dry out a little bit. Don't really have a lot of rain in the forecast until maybe Sunday where we see enough moisture return will be a few scattered showers. Now for Puerto Rico, the rain chance is gonna be a little bit higher here the next couple of days. So I'm gonna let this run until Sunday and then we'll stop it again and look at what's gonna be happening here. So again, the remainder of this late Wednesday, overnight into Thursday, relatively green on the map there. We're gonna get some scattered showers, some downpours, and an isolated thunderstorm. Then it becomes a little bit spottier later tomorrow and not completely dry Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can see again, the model brings in just a little bit of moisture coming in. Now I remind you that one of the reasons why this area is gonna see some rain is we're getting a confluence of winds. Winds from the Northwest with our front and our easterlies through the Lesser Antilles kind of coming together to promote some of these scattered showers. Now they're not gonna be as prevalent the farther east that you go, but rain chances will be going up a little bit in places like Anguilla, in St. Kitts and Nevis, and Saba, and St. Bartholomew, and St. Martin. Certainly Antigua and Barbuda would be included in this as well. And again, isolated to scattered showers as we go late into our Thursday, Friday, maybe a little bit more on Saturday as well. Look, it's not gonna be heavy or concentrated, but the rain chance ticking up a little bit. So this is your Thursday afternoon, and you could just see that moisture coming together, a little bit more lift in the atmosphere, looking a bit better outside. And then again, spotty showers into Friday and early into the weekend, not gonna be as prominent there, but you at least have a little bit better chance for showers compared to areas south. When you get into Guadalupe and Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago, your winds never turn out of the north. So you don't get that confluence of wind, but we still have our easterlies moving through and that will promote at least some scattered kind of shallow rain. Again, there's a little bit of moisture associated with the easterlies this time of the year. It's not a lot. Really, this forecast is still about the heat and the humidity with temperatures mid and upper 80s, lower 90s, and that east wind and the humidity still coming along for the ride. So you can see over the next five days, I don't have a lot of rain in the forecast anywhere from Guadalupe South, slightly higher moisture content in the atmosphere the next couple of days up in the Northwest areas there, including the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. The winds have subsided a little bit in the ABC Islands recently here. That's, I guess, good news. I mean, obviously we have a fairly brisk uh, trade wind from time to time here, but rain chances remain relatively low for Aruba, Bonaire, and Carousel over the next five days. Now kind of going back towards the west, and we can you know, look at this in a couple of different areas. First of all, again, we're behind our front in Jamaica, in the Cayman Islands, and the Yucatan and Belize, so now the atmosphere is dried out. Now the rain chances really become lower, especially in the next couple of days. We'll 
turn our winds back out of the east to southeast as we get into the weekend and try and pull in a little bit of moisture in this area. But for my friends in Jamaica, for Ocho Rios and Mandeville and Port Moore in, in uh, Spanish Town in Kingston, first of all, the sea conditions have relaxed, right? So no longer the strong wind advisory and, and the high wave action. That's good news but we're drying back out again. Some of you though have told me you got some good rain over the last couple of days, which is great to hear because it is going to be drier again in this area. I expect maybe a few showers over the weekend. It's something I'll monitor, potentially a couple of showers returning, especially by Sunday afternoon. We'll see another front come in to the Bahamas, which is something I'll be tracking late into the weekend and early in the week. Now the north winds could still drive in a couple of isolated showers, but it's still gonna be mainly dry in this area. And if we're gonna get some rain, it'll be relatively fast moving here for tomorrow. And then again, over the weekend, maybe a quick passing shower, basically snap your finger in and out of the area here for Nassau and Freeport and Walker's Key as we move into late Saturday and early on Sunday. Looking at the winds, Again, it's always a big story this time of the year because we still have these fronts coming in off the eastern side of the United States and the wind impacts it's going to bring. So as this loops up, again, thank you so much for liking the video. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button as well. So we're going to see the winds again swing back out of the east after the north wind. So you can see the north winds the next couple of days and then there's that turn back out of the east. So we're going to warm up a little bit. We'll start to bring in a little bit more moisture and get the rain chances to come back up in areas late into the weekend, early next week. Again, for Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, you stay with your easterly winds. For Bermuda, gale conditions are likely. You can see that spin moving right through the area. We'll take a look at the wind uh, product here. I'm going to show you the wind gusts. And again, this is a nice, easy way to see this. What you're looking for are the oranges and the reds. And obviously, we have a nice wrap up of that right over Bermuda with another front coming off of the east coast of the United States. That's going to kick up the surf and sea conditions again over the weekend for the Bahamas. So I'll be monitoring that. And then our fresh easterlies return through the Caribbean. So temperatures should be moderating or warming back up in most areas. Friends, again, outside of these video forecasts that I do, remember, we're streaming live 24-7 at, here at Media Mundo. You go to the live tab, you find that thumbnail, and you will see our system updating live. Live radar, live satellite, live temperatures. We'll track tropical systems in real time as well. Pop in and out, maybe a few minutes a day. Maybe you're watching that front come through and you want to see more updates. Any time for you. 24 seven. You can also find us through a lot of other social media platforms. We're across the universe. We are on Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. There's the email address. You want to send us a picture or video. I always love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you guys sending me that as well. And again, find us on those other social media platforms and follow us there. So tracking that front through Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and the Lesser Antilles, and then that cooler weather behind us. Again, you got a question about the forecast, drop it in the comments section below. I appreciate your friends. You have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon right here at Media Mundo.